Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I'm going to be discussing my pen and pencil cases, how I travel with my fountain pens, what cases do I use, and why. So to start off, I'm going to talk about what I've had the longest, which are these out-of-print pen and pencil pouches. Now, I was not a pencil pouch person. I always was the person that liked all of my pens, crayons, everything in like separate little slots, but I came across these designs years ago. I've had these for a long time now, and I loved that they were based off of books and uh, was just a sucker for it. So I ended up with, I think, the Pride and Prejudice first and liked it so much that I went back for the Great Gatsby one. And it's been really hard. I've had to refrain from buying more because these two so far have been all I've needed. And like I said, I've had them for years. But uh, what I use these for is actually to keep my bulk pens, so not my fountain pens, uh, all together. So I, when I first got them, I kept like my favorite pens in one pouch and then my lesser used pens in another. Um, you know, just kind of regular ballpoint, sharpies, all of that kind of thing. I did try using these with my fountain pens for a while and it's just kind of too big. What they are really great for though, if you're going to be using them for fountain pens, is if you have smaller cases and you want to put them in one pouch, which I have done and really enjoy. But how these are being used now is I keep all of my black ink pens or refills in the Pride and Prejudice pouch. So I went through a serious zebra phase where I was using zebra pens like crazy, like they're, what are they, stainless steel? Oh my goodness, I use them every day all of the time. That was an in-between fountain pen stage. So I like had fountain pens for a while, kind of got out of it and uh, switch to like the zebra pens for a while. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Anyway, I keep my black pens in there so I know right off the bat where they are. And these just stay in my drawers in my desk now. The Great Gatsby pouch, that's all colored pens. So lots and lots of highlighters, just about anything, sometimes something random. Actually, I think this is a fountain pen. Hold up, okay, I haven't seen this in years. <laughs> Oh my goodness, random fountain pen found. Okay, so I actually know sort of what this is. Golly, it's been so long. Um, I think this was like a $3 fountain pen I maybe purchased on Amazon years ago. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to get this back out. It's just been sitting in here. Okay, so I never use the colored pens or pencils, just you probably are getting that. Now this I knew was in here. This is a fountain pen that my grandmother picked up for me when she went to Italy. But, okay, so these will have to be in future videos. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot those were in there. But yeah, so occasionally something random will end up in the colored pen bag because I don't know where to put it. But yes, these just stay in my desk drawers and just hold that stuff for me. And apparently I need to look through them a little bit more often because I, I don't know what I'm hiding from myself. Moving on, this is one of Chic Sparrow's new pen sleeves. And this is the three pen. And this is, I think this is the Italian leather in black. So it has a really lovely feel to it. And I bought this thinking I would be using it to kind of like shoving it in a journal. So let's see if I can grab a pen here. It's the only thing with a vanishing point, you do have to put it kind of upside down. So that's how it works. Um, yeah, let me see if I can grab a journal real quick to kind of show what I mean. Okay, so this isn't the best example in the world, but basically using my, pretend this is a journal cover, not a journal, I'm so sorry. Anyway, using this inside of a journal cover so it would actually work so I could kind of keep my pens a little bit closer and I wouldn't have to have like a whole extra case. I have been using it that way and I do like it. I just don't love it for all of my fountain pens. So um, Little Quebec of Sports, been very happy with that. Uh, I don't mind putting my vanishing point in it. I just don't want it in there all of the time because it is 
kind of up. Okay, so this is upside down to me for a vanishing point, even though that's because, okay. So we're just going to crack into this one real quick. So technically, all of my pens are nib point up. And so the vanishing point is as well in this case, but I can't shove it in this way because I mean, I'm pretty sure it would destroy the clickability mechanism. So I have to put it in upside down and that just kind of bugs me. I don't know. Long term, it bugs me, but like if I know I'm just going to be around doing stuff it real quick, it, it doesn't bother me so much. And it's just me anyway. So I'll stick a couple of pens in there so you can see kind of the size because you have some different sizes going on here. Um, this is still a little on the tight side. It's taking a little longer to break in than I would like, but this is perfect for a Caveco Sport. It fits in there so well. I just feel like, I know it looks like I'm breaking it, but I promise I'm being safe. So yeah, I mean, covers them really well. The Caveco fits nicely. I like it and I use it. I prefer something a little bit more sturdy. So that's moving on to the Girologio case, I guess that's how you say it. And this is kind of like a bonded leather or something. I can't remember exactly what they call this, but uh, it opens with a magnetic closure, which works really well. It's very secure. I've dropped this in some pretty gnarly ways and it's never popped open on me, at least not yet. So I do, I keep my pens in here. Works well for pretty much all sizes. Quebec Sport is a little short, but it still works. Uh, I've got my Monteverde Regatta in here right now and my Sailor Cellar Black Hole, AKA Captain Kirk pen. And of course the Vanishing Point. So I really like it. They move around a little. They are separated by these little pieces here. So they're not hitting up against each other. I love the pull down flap. Um, when I hurt my hand a few months back, I literally could only use my vanishing point. I couldn't twist off caps or anything. The magnetic cap I couldn't even get off properly. So this case, I could actually work pretty much one handed and I could slip my vanishing point out and use it. So that was pretty fantastic. Uh, something I wasn't really expecting to need, but yeah, so if you only have use of one hand at any given time, you can open it one handed and slide your pen out. It's pretty cool. So yeah, those are the cases that I use. I have enjoyed these. I would buy them again. It's just different uses for different things. This is definitely more for travel and if I'm going to be putting it in another notebook, a journal cover. Uh, this I carry almost all the time, unless I'm carrying this and I don't need this. Sometimes I need six pens and I've got them all with me, but yeah, that's just depending on the day. And these guys just keep me somewhat organized. Apparently I'm just not as organized as I thought I was. So thank you so much for watching. And I would love to know what kind of cases you use for your pens, because honestly, I think I'm needing maybe a larger size case at this point. So I might be looking into some options for the future. Thank you so much for watching.